Hey, what's up you guys? It's Travis. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of my first gay sexual experience. The reason I'm going to be telling you guys this story is because an overwhelming majority of you guys, of course, voted that I tell this story in last week's poll. But before I tell you guys my story, I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by White With Style. White With Style is a little teeth whitening kit. It's one of the best teeth whitening things that I've ever used before, which is why I've agreed to do another sponsorship with them. It made my teeth go from this to this. Basically, how it works is you get two little customized teeth whitening trays. Once you put the whitening gel into your trays, you put it in your mouth for 30 minutes, and then to make it really work, you put the LED light in your mouth, and then let it sit there for the entire time. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can do so at the link in the description section below. Be sure to use my discount code because it brings it down from like $275 per kit down to $28. And with that said, let's get right into my first gay sexual experience. So the story takes place back in the day when I was still in high school. I had a big group of friends that I hung out with. In that group, there was one token gay guy. His name was Seth. I was very cool with Seth and I didn't have a problem with him, but he smelled me. He got the sense of my gayness exuding from my body and he was always trying to hook up with me. One weekend, the 13 of us went to my friend Bryson's place at his cabin in the mountains of Colorado because I'm from Denver, Colorado. So all of us get up there, we get super drunk. Seth, of course, starts to do that same thing he always does where he tries to hook up with me. And I was like, get away from me. And he's like, I see you. I see who you really are. And I was like, don't you say it, bitch. I rebuke you. I rebuke your penis. Because I didn't want the penis. Again, I don't want it. And he just kept trying. So I just kept avoiding him the whole night. Bryson kind of caught on to what was going on. So he kind of took me under his wing. And I was like, here, just come hang out with me for a little bit. And so it was nice to kind of be away from Seth. Because I didn't really want that. I just wanted to hang out with my friends. But anyway, Bryson, me, and Selena. It was the three of us just kind of hanging out, doing our own thing for a little bit. But then the three of us got way too drunk. And we ended up going upstairs to one of the bedrooms bedrooms and passing out there on this massive bed. So I'm lying there, face down, sleeping on my stomach, just trying to feel better because I felt god awful. All of a sudden, I feel fingers crawling down my neck and then crawling down my back and then crawling down my pants. And suddenly those fingers turn into just a solid hand that's sliding down my pants beneath my underwear kind of caressing my ass. And right then I know, oh my god, it's Seth. Like, Seth is back and he's trying to hook up with me right now. I'm trying to just play it like I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm trying to pretend like I'm asleep, hoping that maybe he'll stop. He doesn't stop. His hands go farther and farther down my pants until finally I have no choice but to turn back and grab his hand and be like, Seth, please stop. And as I turn up and look to say that, I stop because it's Bryson. No! 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 And so I think, oh, he must be confused. And so I said, Selena's right there. Because she and Bryson have had a history before, so it seemed to make more sense. In response to that, Bryson looks back at me and he goes, I want you. <laughs> What's happening? Bryson is the cutest. He's the sexiest guy's guy. I've known every single girlfriend that he's had. I've known him for years, and there's not a single moment where I thought for a second that he was gay. And so I'm sitting there just confused. I don't even respond to him. I just look back at him, just... And he goes, meet me downstairs in the bathroom. So he leaves, he goes downstairs, I get up, and I walk downstairs. Everyone's sleeping around the area by the bathroom, and... I go meet Bryson in the bathroom. I'm just gonna ask him questions. I don't really know what's happening. I don't even know why he even asked me to come to the bathroom. But as I shut the door behind me and as I start to say something, he throws me against the door and starts kissing me. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. But of course, I just kind of went with it. And so we start making out and we're kissing and he pulls off my shirt and he pulls off his shirt. I've never been with a guy before. And so my heart is racing and I was so nervous, but I was so excited at the same time. And so as he starts to unbutton my pants, Boom, 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 boom. Someone knocks on the door. Bryson kind of steps back. I don't know what to do. We're both in the bathroom with our shirts off. Bryson panics. He goes and like stumbles into the bathtub. I'm sitting here because he's drunk off his ass. I don't know what to do. I need to make the decision right now what to do. And they're like, come on, what are you guys doing in there? Finally, I just get this idea and I pull Bryson up. I put him over the toilet with his face down into it and I open the door. Matt and Chelsea come inside and they're like, what are you guys doing? And I said, oh, Bryson's sick. I just kind of play it off and act like I took off his shirt so that he could stay cool. And they're like, oh, okay, well let us know if you need anything. And so I 
just leave. I go upstairs and I go back to bed. Bryson goes to sleep somewhere else as well, and that's the end of it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just realized that my video was not centered the whole time, so I apologize for that. So the next morning, everyone wakes up. Bryson cooks breakfast for everyone. He's very casual. He's not being cold to me at all. He's just kind of acting normal. So in my head, I'm thinking, did I make this all up? Did I dream that that happened? Because there was no way that Bryson was gay. When we got back to Denver, a couple of days passed, and then Bryson called me, and he wanted to hang out. So of course I said yes, and we went and grabbed Chipotle for lunch. I was making small talk. I wasn't going to bring it up again because I was so uncomfortable. But then finally he says, So, the other night, huh? <laughs> I just kind of say the same thing back, like, Yeah, the other night. And he goes, So, are you gay? And I said, I don't know. Are you gay? And he goes, I am bisexual. And I said, okay, does anyone else know? And he's like, no. So, have you had sex with the guy? And he goes, yes. And I'm sitting there as we're talking through all this and I'm eating my big fat Chipotle burrito like one bite after the next. I have this feeling that he's going to want to hook up again. That kind of feels like where it's going because I think he's very interested and he's kind of touching my leg as we're talking and I'm just feeling a very, very flirtatious vibe. As I'm eating my burrito, we continue talking. He's like, yeah, I've had sex with a guy before. And I was like, so have you, you know? And of course he said, have I bottomed? And I said, yeah. And he goes, yeah, I have but now I'm just a top. Lord Jesus. I froze right there, and I looked down at this burrito. I looked at all that spicy sauce all up in that burrito. Oh, you had to get the extra spicy salsa, Travis. I just kind of lowered that burrito, and he's like, what's wrong? I'm like, you know, I'm not that hungry anymore. I had plenty to eat for lunch. I'm just trying to cut back on calories. Anyway, we finished eating our burrito. I could feel my stomach rumbling. Oh, Lord Jesus. I was walking down the street like Cersei in the Game of Thrones. People throwing shit at me saying, shame, shame, shame. I did have shame. Lord, I ate the Chipotle burrito and I didn't need to have gay sex to know that you're not supposed to eat Chipotle before you have the gay sex. And so we get back to my grandparents' place. I'm sorry, Grandma and Grandpa, for what happened there. Oh, Lord, there are some religious people, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. We get back to our place. We go downstairs to my room. I'm just ready to accept my punishment. Like, I know it's gonna be a bloodbath. And so I walk over to that bed and I lean over it. <laughs> and I close my eyes, just getting ready for it. And I braced myself, Lord Jesus. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, two legs pop up right over my shoulders. And I look over, and I look down, and I see Bryson beneath me. Bryson, what are you doing? Well, that's when I learned, ladies and gentlemen, that just because someone says that they are a strict top does not mean that they are a strict top. Sparing you guys any other details, that is my first gay sexual experience. It was a good one because Bryson was someone that meant a lot to me. He was a very close friend and so I was happy to have shared that with him and it was just one step closer to accepting who I was and my identity. So anyway, I hope it was worth the wait because a lot of you guys clearly wanted to see what that story was really all about. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.